So I got this crappy uh, computer that never gets used. Um, it's my wife's old computer. Looks like something got spilled on it. Um, don't really have a use for it right now, so I figured let's see what happens if I can take a Manjaro installation, put it on here, and get Steam running. Let's see how that looks, and let's see if there's any problems, and let's see how long it takes. There is no SSD in here, so of course I'm going to fast forward it, but let's get into it. All right, let's see what happens. Click download. That's pretty straightforward. Oh, look at all these versions. Well, let's do this version because that should be the lightweight version. Oh, I don't know. Um, let's do the torrent version. All right, we're downloading the torrent. Let's see how long it takes. All right, so I've got it downloaded. So let's right click and open with this. We got the image next. There's my USB drive. This is like my favorite thing. So I'm running Pop! OS, so this is pretty easy. And I will put in my password and I'll be back in one sec. Not sure how long this will take, but we'll be back in a sec. All right, this is done. Let's take a look at it. Eject this way. Yes. Now it can be removed. And we will pop it into here. Wish there was a USB 3. Maybe it doesn't work with old laptops. I have no idea. I got Pop! OS on here, though. I had Pop! OS installed onto this laptop. Doing something. <laughs> Promising. It would have broke here, that would have been game over. <laughs> I'm not that good at Linux. Mostly just good at, uh, not even good at it, I mostly just use Pop! OS, so let's see what comes of this. Gonna have to cut a lot of this out, man. It's just so slow. This is like some. My wife used to use this as her um, as her work laptop. It's um, she got an upgrade or something. Considering that is not bad. So, what do we want to do? Click that. Close this. I'm just going to stop the video for one sec because I want to connect it to my Wi-Fi. Alright. So, we'll boot it in. This is just still running off the USB. Let's click this install. Is this ugly? It's kind of ugly. I don't know. Not, it doesn't overly matter. Alright, let's see what we can figure out here. Next. Yeah, we'll do Toronto. Yeah. So, like I said, I had um, Pop! OS on here. Let's just erase it all. So, I think it's set. Next. I'm just going to stop this again just so I can put this stuff in, even though I'm going to wipe this computer again. Alright, passed. So, we're one screen passed. I'm going to click install. About to make changes and uh, remember I said um, there's no SSD in here so it's just a slow hard drive so let's see what's going on here I'll just have to so yeah we'll let this do its thing I'm not I, I honestly don't, I don't have a very good camera so I'm not like gonna let this like run for the whole time but basically it's installing to my understanding, it should just go to 100% anyways. Like, I don't think there's going to be any menus I click or anything like that. So, I'm going to stop the camera for a sec, but we'll let this run through. I'll finish, and then, in theory, I should just be able to turn a computer on, and we'll be into my Manjaro. And then let's see if we can get Steam installed with Wine and me playing one game, and let's see how hard it is. It's kind of a great video for if you're like a beginner user. So let's see what's going on. Looks like we're all done. So let's 
see what happens now. We'll click restart. Old computer didn't take too long, but a little longer than I'd like. On my gaming PC, this would be done in like five minutes. System will reboot. Let's see what happens. So far, I got to admit, I'm kind of impressed. This is, I don't know what year this thing is, but let's see what happens. Pop the um, uh, USB stick out. Let's see how long it takes to boot in. As I said, no SSD in here. This has a crappy, um, what the heck do you call those? Mechanical drives in it. 2.5 inch mechanical drive. Let's see what happens. Honestly, it looks like the screen is burning it or something like that. It's quite possible. Um, this was um, it was a work machine, and uh, people always say LED doesn't get screen burn, but it actually does get screen burn. It's talked about on Blurbusters a lot how LED can get screen burn. Like I said, I, I think it's old. Like I, I honestly, I barely used it. I think it's like a 2015 or something like that. Okay. So this isn't bad. Remembered the Wi-Fi from the last time, which I don't know if I'm surprised by that. So let's see if I can navigate this. I know that I'm supposed to use that PAMAC program or something like that. So if I just, I think if I, yeah, there we go. Add remove software. So the goal of these videos are, let's just see if we can get games running and if you're like a new guy so if I go like this search it's gonna let me search or is it just being slow hmm how do you search oh there we go um wine enter see what happens think we want this one. Oh, well, we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna click apply. We'll let this download and we'll get back to it. Okay, that's done. So let's delete this. Steam and enter. I'm gonna click this. Apply. So my theory is, oh yeah. Ask for a password that time, it just doesn't. I wonder why one requires a password and the other doesn't. Is that what, what I'm seeing here? Yeah, I guess so. So let's install Steam. And then my theory is, as long as I can log in and still have my Steam on my other computer, which I'm sure that will work. Launcher for Steam. Oh, I think I installed the wrong thing. Application for managing and playing games on Steam. Well, let's see what I did. I don't really know. I always like the GNOME one better. Um, games. There's Steam. Let's see what happens. And obviously, like when I get to my username, I won't put that. Well, obviously, <laughs> I'm not gonna put it in on the computer, so you'll have to bear with me. So I just kind of might blank it out. Okay, so we fully got Steam up. So all you've seen me do is we've installed Wine, and you saw me install Steam with that program they have called Pamac, which is their like add remove software program so I'm gonna stop it one more time because I'm gonna put in my username we're gonna install a 2d game like something that's not high requirements and just see how easy it is to game on Manjaro Linux on some random crappy old laptop all right so let's put that in front so that's just some crappy um, wired controller I think I bought it off Amazon so you can see the game in there. So if anybody's familiar with like Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2 for the Nintendo, this game's called Cyber Shadow. Double click it. What's this mean? All right, well, let's launch it anyways. It asked me if I wanted to create like a desktop shortcut. And interestingly enough, this was not working for me on Pop! OS when I was trying to create these desktop shortcuts. They weren't 
going here. Maybe because it was a GNOME interface or something like that. I don't know. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Maybe that's what it was. Like there was some permission missing or something like that. This could be slow. Oh, what, what's going on here? Pretty cool. Check that out. That is so awesome. That so there it is. A full Manjaro installation on this random laptop. So let me know what you thought about this. I thought it was pretty cool. This is great for any newbie. Um, I had planned to do other um, random installs on. I have no use for this computer really. It's just for fun. Like it's. I, I have too many old computers and things anyway. So. I will um, probably do Linux Mint next because I'm not very good with Linux. And then I'm going to try Endeavor because it's supposed to be super fast. It's supposed to be like a terminal based uh, Linux version that a lot of people, to my understanding from some of my other Linux videos, are saying is better than Manjaro. I don't know if I have the skills to get it working, but I'm willing to try. But I would like to do Linux Mint next because I see that mentioned a lot and I know I can handle Linux Mint. I know it's easy enough. But there it is guys, that's all I had to do. Install Manjaro, run Wine, run Steam, install the game, and there we go. And this is pretty cool if you ask me. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourself a good day.